Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing another episode of creating an 8 star system with Hatable Life. So if you remember last episode we've laid down the initial foundations, we've got all 8 stars up and running, all their orbits all good. We started to have some planets around the closest stars as we can see, so we've done Wolf there, we've got the Altar sort of planets going around. And that's only the first few objects around the main star A to Karana here. So today we're going to be continuing on with the Alpha Centauri A, the Tab B star and the Burner star hopefully. Getting more and more planets added around this uh, pretty wild system. So without further ado, let's hop straight into it. So let's head straight to... So we did Altar and Wolf. So I'm pretty happy with the way their orbits are looking. I don't think we need to add any more changes to those. So we're going to move on to the next star systems further out because we should hopefully be able to get a lot more Earth-like worlds now we're further away from that Eta Karen A death zone orbit there. So we should hopefully be able to uh, get things a little better. But if we look at Alpha's A's orbit here, for instance, it's not a perfect elliptical or perfect um, orbital um, oval, I should say. So it's slightly bent, tilted. So effectively, some planets that may be good around some areas may have a little harder time when it gets closer to Eta Carinae, but we will see. So Alpha A, then you've got Trappist 1 orbs in at the depths of Alpha A. So we could pretty much build a full-fledged system about the size of our own solar system around this, because if I remember right, Trappist 1 was a good sort of 30 AU, uh, wasn't it? Uh, 64 years old. It's about the distance of Uranus, actually. So, we're sitting around that region. So, not too bad. But let's see what we can come up with. So, Alpha A. So, I'm thinking, you know, could base it, you know, kind of off our own solar system a bit. So, we could have some more default rocks in there. Also, have something a little more complex. So, let's come up with this. So, I'm going to go the closest object to the star. I'm going to go with an object like Titan. So I'm going to build off, maybe I'll build off Titan itself and have this as like the Mercury equivalent here. So I'm going to place it 0 0.1 AU. I'm going to see how it sort of does things. Uh, let's turn off the zones now, so we don't need that at the moment. So here we go. So here's Titan. Oh, look at all the star effects it's got going on him at the moment as well. So pretty wild. Right. So let's press play. Let's just see how things run. Oh, he doesn't like that. So I'm going to give it a little more mass as well, just to buff him up a bit, just so he isn't evaporating pretty much. So let's get him a little bigger. Let's hopefully be enough to hold on. So there you go. Let's um, delete all the particles as well. Okay, so that should hopefully be holding on quite nicely. So yeah, a little larger than normal Titan. Um, if we look underneath, those oceans of methane won't last. I want to change the surface texture probably as well, because the Titan texture is one of the most glitchy glitchiest things in the game is the default titan texture it's so strange um i'm gonna stabilize and maybe equalize melts sort of settle liquid and uh, this is this is obviously methane isn't it so that's not gonna last too long anyway with the um being this close to the star so i'm gonna go to the surface and i'm gonna give you a proper sort of map to combine with it so let's go planet 15 so i was like planet 15 Get that mix in there. Maybe give it a little more offset as well. Or maybe lower the Titan down a bit. Just to get the other texture kind of more in there as well. Because the Titan texture on its own is a bit weird. I may actually invert them. So I'm going to go 15 and then go Titan maybe. But I know it's got... So... Actually no though. Because we've got... Um... It's something down here that's actually the Titan map isn't it? So... Uh, no it's not that one. It's base color isn't it map titan so we need to disable that because the titan map is ridiculously buggy so we're gonna completely get rid of that so what am i thinking uh i've got something fairly basic to me honest. anything anything that works so because yeah the titan one is just horrendous i'm gonna i'm gonna mix it with a pluto maybe mm. it kind of it completely changes it doesn't it um how does titan look now if we put it on there so yeah you kind of lose the look at the surface look of titan but it's, it's okay really because i don't the surface of titan it's not the greatest looking thing in the game it's not the highest detail textured so yeah we, we can we can roll with that that's not a problem um let's go with 15 in callisto maybe and then down here it's it's this map here it's a bit of a pest. If I put that back to Titan, let's see how it looks like that because I've kind of improved it a bit with the crater. So we don't even have to have Titan as our main texture. So let's see how that kind of runs. So now I'm going to increase it. Um, also, I want to give it elevation and custom, isn't it? So yeah, we don't even need that anyway. We kind of lose the Titan look when we change it. So there you go. But I'm kind of happy with the way it's kind of looking already. Actually, I may just change this darker green to maybe a, a black, maybe. Uh, this color here. 
Maybe make it a little more grey in appearance, a little more Mercury-esque. Just kind of like a Mercury Titan kind of mix between two, more of like a golden, almost golden-like surface. Maybe make it a deeper, a little more orange, make it maybe a deeper sort of brown. There you are. Okay. And then, yeah, just to double check, the Titan texture definitely doesn't work in this format. Or does it? So you can see straight away, when I put Titan on, it just gets this awful appearance. I mean, if I disable map 2, that's just the Titan. It's such a weird texture, and it just doesn't doesn't work for me on its own. It has to be something else. Um, so, yeah, we're going to go back to the Callisto one, actually, because I do like the Callisto the greatest. Um, let's try Titan on 2, maybe. Yeah, see, again, it just makes it look very strange. But on the number 2, it isn't so bad. They leave it like that, actually. Looks like it's still losing material, so we may need to give it a little buff there. It's still got the craters. I'm gonna yeah, we need to give it a little more. I'm gonna increase that a bit, give it a little more sort of crater periods. But you know, it looks like maybe the Titan texture can work with that sort of format. Um give the atmosphere back as well. I'm actually not gonna make it as thick as it once was though. It looks like it's on this anyway. Let's just manually interfere there. Ooh, Titan's got a weird uh one of those weird opacities, isn't it? Ah, it's annoying. Put it back to simulated then for now. Um but yeah, so Gonna make you a little bigger because you're still losing material. So maybe maybe, maybe I get 0 0.2 Earths. Put it back on there. The atmosphere is there, isn't it? How does it look? So we've got it's currently got a two tone on it. I'm gonna keep it red. But yeah, if Titan's thickness is that weird buggy thing. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have used Titan in hindsight because that's a bit annoying. But we'll make it work. So you know what? It doesn't have to have. We'll just keep it on simulated, and then we keep this on simulated as well, just to see how it does. Uh, but there you go, so we'll let Titan sort of sort itself out for now. I'm not going to call it Titan, no, maybe we'll call it something else. Maybe we call it the inverted name, so let's call it N-A-T-I-T. -T. Titan in backwards, so Natit. <laughs> so T-I-T-A-N, yeah, in backwards, there you go. So we've got Natit. <laughs> right. So an interesting world, but we're going to see how that sort of develops over time. It's already increasing in high temperatures, so we'll see how that sits around uh, Alpha A there as our first uh, planet around here. Kind of like a Mercury, a Mercury and Titan mixed together, effectively. So we'll see how that works. Next up, let's try and go for a more Venus equivalent, maybe. So I'm going to go for we're going to go for one of the cool templates. So I don't know exactly which one I'm going to use. Um, hang on, what was uh, where's my custom planets? What's going on here? Give me my customs. There are we. There you go. That's weird. Um, right, so. Let them all load up. I'm going to use one of the um, Enixus worlds, I think it was, um, with the crazy cloud effects, but also going to give it an enhanced atmosphere, so I'm going to see how this looks. So where are we? Oh, they're further down, aren't they? What am I doing? Uh, yes, so... There we go. That's what I want. I want these guys here. Um, what colour though is the question? I'm thinking probably the mix of the red and the orange. I'm gonna storm. I'm gonna try red as the first one here. Let's look at the zone as well, because ideally this could be quite hot. I'm gonna place it there. Okay, right. So how will we doing here? Right. So with you, immediately I want the atmosphere on quite thick as well. So that already fits quite nicely. Cloud colour. Obviously, you can make it pretty insane. Let's just quickly go underneath so we can get it right. I'm thinking sort of very toxic -y dark clouds, possibly. So, how does that look? The coverage isn't even on full. Remember, these worlds are pretty extreme. Very bright and reflective as well. Uh, but, yeah, let's um, give it a very, very dark kind of look, possibly. Maybe gray it down a bit. Even on, like, the... Oh, yeah. <laughs> pretty extreme, isn't it? Um... So it's all about getting it kind of right. I'm just thinking, you know, maybe a little more deeper on the colour. But not too... a little more pale. Maybe more like that, yeah. They look toxic -y. Trying to go for more of a realistic look, possibly, as well. Atmosphere pasty. I'm going to lower this. Give it a different atmosphere colour in general. Maybe maybe a whiter, whiter shade. Um, I'm going to lower that down a bit. But I'm going to give it a two-tone. Ooh, that, ooh, that looks quite good, doesn't it? <sighs> okay. So keep, give it the two-tone red. Clouds are on max. So look at the opacity with that glitched out stat there with modding the files. So we're going to stick with that. And maybe just make the opacity a little dimmer, just so this clouds kind of shine through. 
Now, do I like the colour of the clouds with the atmosphere applied? That's the question. So, let's see how these... Oh, yeah. Oh. Maybe I'll make them a little brighter after all, then. But keeping it with that sort of browny kind of shade there, but not too dark. So, let's see how that looks. That's pretty much almost completely blacked out there. Maybe a little more pale somewhere there. I'm thinking maybe that. There you go. So that's with the atmosphere on and off, so maybe increase the atmosphere just a bit more, give it that real sort of hot look, um, and then two-tone it. I quite like the blue two-tone with the red, reddish clouds, to be honest. That looks quite good, actually. Go the red or the blue. I'm thinking the blue. I quite like the blue. Maybe just thin it a little bit more, but let's see how, how this world comes to be. Let's, now let's look underneath. So this is the surface underneath, so we're going to give that a big change. So, what, what were we looking at? Veg that's vegetation. We'll switch that off. We don't want that. Uh, base colour. Um, we want custom. So, this is actually a Venus texture as well. So, that's not a bad uh, combo, actually. So, I'm thinking... Really inferior, darkish brown with a grey. I guess would probably be the ideal sort of look. Maybe, maybe have these areas, like, bright, bright colour for now. Uh, and then the, this colour here, I'm going to go with the sort of brownish-orange, really. It looks like a sandy brown. Mix that with a grey. I'm going to increase this a bit just to make it look a little more interesting. I like how it actually has water on it at the moment. I think that's going to end too well. Uh, and then, yeah, vegetation. Not vegetation. Surface colour. Oh, that red gone. Maybe have that as black. Black those areas out, actually. And then these colours here. Keep that as maybe a... More of a murky look. I'm going to give it some craters as well. So I'm going to change to one of the surface periods over. So uh, map two. Let's go straight for. Let's go over Mercury and a Venus combined. See how that kind of plays out. How does, how does that look? Mercury and a Venus together. Make sure those craters come through though. Oh, that's quite an interesting look, isn't it? Kind of inverted in round. Where's my mercury texture? I don't really see much of the mercury texture coming through. Uh, there's the Venus. Yeah, that's obviously the Venus. So that inverts mercury. So where's that mercury? Oh, mercury. Oh, that was weird. <laughs> well, I just double... Right, okay. Ah, there you go. That's more like it. Maybe it's just a little bug. So you've got your Venus more in the middle there. And you got your mercury kind of blending in with the Venus appearance. Okay. I'm thinking somewhere there. Kind of a mix of the Venus and Mercury's together. That's quite an interesting duo, isn't it? And then colour wise. Yeah, keep that keep that blacked out. Uh, this colour here. Maybe a little more of a greyish appearance. Let's go with that. High elevation is the real sort of cha changer here. Maybe like a deeper brownish orange, maybe a little more brown, grey, deeper brown. Either way, it's uh, pretty beaten up, isn't it? Clouds and atmosphere on. You can't really see much underneath there anyway, but it's a pretty rugged surface. I'm thinking maybe more of a darker red now, actually. With the to go of the atmosphere, I'm thinking, yeah, quite a murky, sort of inhospitable colour. So I'm thinking maybe dark there, and then this colour will make this the red. Make that an extremely sort of volcanic-looking landscape, and then make this maybe darker in colour. Ooh, it's looking really well. That water needs to go... Oh, yeah, the brown with the red. With the dark brownish with the red. So that's quite a deep brown. And then this colour here, maybe just make this red a little more pale, just to make it a little more natural kind of appearance. I'm going to go with something like that. And I think with the atmosphere on top, that will fit quite nicely together. There you go. Maybe, maybe make the cloud coverage a little less. Well, that's atmosphere. Whoops, it is it. Clouds. Down here, I may lower the coverage a bit, so you can see it down to the surface a little bit. Blue atmosphere, though. Mm. Let's lower that. Oh, the red does look pretty menacing, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. No, I may have to go with the red, actually. I think the red... Maybe just not all the way on the end of the scale to the red, but have it sort of halfway, so about 250 minus. Uh, let's go about, about there. There you go. 254. There you go. So there's just sort of 
Venus-y equivalent. So temperature-wise, this should be pretty insane. So I'm going to go immediately down to here. I'll be done with the lower uh, atmosphere. What, what are we looking at over here? So layers. I want this now. This is going to be pretty wild red. So I'm going to double this layers. It's even receiving sort of the zone of Eta Carinae as well. So this is going to be a pretty wild world. Uh, infrared up, possibly. We'll leave it there, actually. Um, what's that in ATM? Thinking a little more there. Let's go with about... Ooh, let's go with 4 ATM. Quite a, eh, does it want to... No, it doesn't want to cooperate. It's got the automatic on at the moment. We're giving it the layers, so that should be... That should keep it occupied for a while. I'm going to pull it straight up to maybe 119. See how it sort of sits from there. Let's let it run a bit. So that should skyrocket in temperature. So you got your... Mer There's a Mercury and Venus sort of equivalents here now. So we kind of... Ooh, what's going on here? Is that a Titan world up to? What was all this? It's a very strange, isn't it, the way this is coming out? It's a very, very bizarre. But let's, um, let's stable the phases. Equalise the gas. Stable the phases. Mm, mm. The Titan atmosphere still don't do it for me. I don't... Why is it on 100? Stop with that. So that's simulated it back to 100, doesn't it? Mm. Oh, very interesting. It's very, see, look, even 0, 0.0, the atmosphere still shows as... That's so weird. I don't know why the Titan in the game does that. It's so weird. Even when it's on zero opacity, it's still full-on sort of there. That's a bit weird. Hmm. That's how bizarre is that With atmosphere on and off? That's definitely not clouds, is it? Yeah. Clouds on. I mean, the clouds are disabled. We'll put clouds on a bit. A bit of a give it a bit of a whiff. So let's go double turbulent, maybe give it something anyway. Not sure I like the colour of the surface anymore as well. That's oh, was that is that liquid or ice or something? Oh, it is ice. Yeah, let's disable that. What's ice on it? Water. Zero. I don't want any water on it. There you go. Oh, made it a little smaller. Methane still on it. But yeah, they don't want any blimmin' water on it. Let's get rid of that. Uh Still doesn't like it with the atmosphere, though. That's so bizarre. You know, I may just rip the atmosphere off it and just keep it as a rock, then, because the atmosphere is annoying. 1980M as well. Let's just strip it to zero. Get rid of it. There you go. So that's going to be more of a hot rock. I'm going to tidy lock it, though, to make up for it. Give it a bit of heat still. So there you go. Let's lock it on. There you go. Right, let's see how that behaves now. Still in the red zone, of course, but there you go. So it's a shame I couldn't get the atmosphere on it, but it's just a Titan. I don't like it being fully... I didn't want it fully thicked out like that. That looks really cool, actually. I really like the way that looks. Oh, it looks so menacing. Look at all the clouds swirling around on that. Um, I'm going to get rid of those city lights or change them to red, maybe, just so they look a little more like... Um, yeah, look a little more like um, volcanoes or something, possibly. So let's make them, like, red. So you can just see them sort of underneath here. Yeah, it looks a little more... Fits home a little more, doesn't it? I'm going to make it a little more orange. Make it blend with the colour a bit more. Don't like that. Yeah, you go. All right, cool. So we'll have those kind of representing volcanoes. Okay, right, moving on. I'm thinking before we get to an Earth-like world, we have kind of like a Mars. Now I'm thinking like a hot version of Mars. So what world can I use? So I'm going to use one of the old desert templates, actually. It's one of your competition objects that one of you guys would have submitted. So let's use the desert. I'm thinking... Ooh. Let's use Desert 5. Let's see how that comes out. Let's place it there. Okay. Ah, so this one already has like patches of water on it, actually. That could play well into our favour here. So liquid. I'm going to immediately make that more of a blue. Maybe actually try and make this like a lifelike well, but just like a, literally a desert. So an all on, a full on desert, but still having a life. Is that being tinted? Red, yellow. I don't know, actually. Maybe give it like yellowy, sandy, almost oceans. Let's see how that appears. Atmosphere's on, isn't it? Yep. Bit of an atmosphere thickness on it. Maybe give it the two tone as well. I disable that as well. Uh, clouds, they are on. Let's turn them up. Ah, looks better. Hey, I think this world has been tinted, judging by its appearance. I'm not sure actually. Um, I don't know. Um, surface texture underneath. That's fine. I'm going to give you a little more. So base color, um, yeah. Oh yeah. So we want custom, don't we? Right. So let's also disable that, so we can see if it truly has been. Oh, it's definitely tinted. Yeah, you can see immediately that's been tinted. So let's see if we can make it work. Okay. So ooh, blacked out, and it still it still wants to stay yellow. Very very interesting. There you go. Give it a little more. 
appearance there. How does vegetation look if we pull it on? Can't tell a difference, to be honest. Oh, you can see there's little patches of it down there. Okay. Well, that is green. <laughs> little little patches of life in the green regions. So that's interesting. So what is actually... Is that ice or... It must be ice or snow. Yeah, there you go. That's what it was. So let's disable that. Oh, I do apologise if you can hear very loud motorcycles. I do live near a road. <laughs> and it's very hot at the moment, so... I need the window open, unfortunately. So I do apologise. Okay, so that's looking better now. I'm going to disable that now. So now we can actually do the colours properly. Okay, so... Ah, that's a lot better. Okay, so how, how are we looking? So, maybe you have white. I obviously want to keep the desert fill. So, I'm going to have it as a very pale yellow. And then this colour here, I'm going to have as, like, very dark green to kind of represent some sort of vegetation. So, it's it's a desert -y world, but it does have patches of, like, trees. So maybe, like, a savanna kind of, like, area. So, it's like kind of like a savanna slash desert kind of world. So, quite an interesting... Oh, so that's a little too much green. It's a little overkill, isn't it? Um, three, we could deepen it down... How does that look so... I, I kind of like that as like the orangey, sandy yellow, really. And then high elevation, how's that? So that's these areas here. Yeah, there you go. That's quite a nice mix of yellow. and So, you know, you've got your life. It's a very hot, humid savanna, but you have got your life regions. But a lot of it is like Australian outback slash Sahara desert kind of going together here. So quite an interesting duo there. The ice and snow. So that snow needs to go. We're doing to warm up. Clouds on it. I love the tinted clouds. They look great. Uh, but underneath, right, watercolour. This is what I want to try and get right here. Is try and make this a little more blue, possibly. So how, how does it look? Mm, deeper blue, possibly. Is it sharp as a blue colour? Yeah, the tint of this planet hasn't helped there a bit. Um, what if we make it just white? Yeah, like white oceans. I think you can probably get away with that. It still is water. It's just different colour. It's just quite sandy water. <laughs> see to lights on, why not? Clouds on. I love those clouds. Um, atmosphere as well. Right, so I'm thinking I'm going to lower the... I want to lower the clouds down a bit. Or do I? It's the coverage, isn't it? That's been... The coverage was the thing that had been modded. But it still looks great. I don't have to really keep them like that. Yeah, yeah, it works fine. Um, it still has the cool tint, which is what I'm after. It just had a higher, a higher coverage of 150, didn't it? Which you can't do. That was all done in the files. Um, I'm thinking, though, just to make up for that, though, I'm going to make them maybe thicker. Second set is thick. There you go. So you can still see to the surface nicely. Um... And then I'm going to give the opacity of the atmosphere maybe just a little... So it's on, max, it's on 500, isn't it? So it has that two tint. So I'm going to have that blue very faint. I'm going to keep it 8.93. So it still maintains yellow as the primary sort of colour. But you've got like little blue horizons on it. So let's have a little surface view on it. Let's see how it looks. So you've got a blue sky. It's a world of a blue sky. Deserty. You've got your yellowy desert stormy clouds sort of flying around as well. I'm thinking maybe thick and thick then. Oh... Sandstorm, Mars, Marsy sandstormy kind of world mix. Yeah, I kind of like it. It looks quite good, doesn't it? Um, and then just um, maybe lower the coverage. So it has this fixed sparse area. Yeah, you go. You got also you got your water there. I'm still not convinced on the color of the water. I really wish I could make it blue, but when you tint an object yellow, the blue will not show up. That's not happening. Unless we have it as deep greens, maybe. Let's see how that looks. You know what? That's not bad. So liquid, yeah. Uh, so your blue is a no-go. But you could get away with like a light sort of turquoise cyan colour. So I'm thinking somewhere like that. So it's still recognisable kind of as a watery substance at least. Yeah. Underneath. That's what it looks like underneath. You know what? I'll roll with that. Um, it's a desert world, so it's only a few patches of water. There's not going to be a lot of it, so I'm going to stick with that. And now it's just about getting it at the right temperature. So let's see. So it's a minus 252. So there's something to be done about that. So it's warming up. It's mm, minus 45. We need a little more greenhouse. So let's give it so give it what it needs. So where are we sitting in the zone? So it's sitting in the, we're sitting in the red? And you're minus 42? 114 at the hottest point. Well, average is minus 40. What's the rotational period? Let's put it down to... One. Let it spin a bit. Get a bit of that warmth flowing. There you go. Have a little... So the hot areas aren't as hot as well. Let's see how that... I mean, most of it's... So it's like a cold slash hot desert. It's an interesting world, this is. Okay. But it should, with, with, it should have more temperature. I'm going to double its atmosphere. I'm going to immediately go for... 
Albedo is very low as well. Infrared, let's turn that up. I'm going to put this maybe to two. I'm going to see if that gives it the kick it needs. Hopefully give it a little more average. See how that rolls. Yeah, that's giving it the real kick, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know if that may be a little overkill, but let's see how it appears. Let's see how it does. It's warming up. That's going to go past what we want. I think in jazz. We're going to put that back to one. I think that should be all right. Let's see how it does in there. Oh, yeah. Okay, so ideally a desert world like this, I don't want it much higher than maybe 60. So, yeah. It's, mm, lower that infrared down a bit. Karma horse is a bit still increasing. Okay, ooh, it's, it's dropping a bit. Okay, a little lower. Okay, now it's dropping again. So does it? Let's see if it sits around sixty. So it still increases from sixty. Okay. We'll get a little bit of albedo you know, just to reflect that little extra light. It absorbs a lot at the moment. I want to keep it maybe around fifty-five. Sixty, fifty-five. I mean, it's looking good so far. And it is an extremely hot desert though, and it does have regions where you will be able to survive it in the poles. So the main sort of face, you can see some very hot areas in the the equator area. So yeah, maybe just a little more of a little more tune it down a bit. I'm gonna give it a little more albedo. That should hopefully keep it. it still was a hot deserty world. I think the water. Where's that? Where's our water gone? Is it drained it or was it? Uh, the water is there. Where's our sea level? Sea level is there. I'm gonna be a little buffed to the sea level. Oh, there it is there. I'm just being blind. Okay, settle liquid. Okay, it just probably it just needs to sort itself out. It's got a lot of the poles though, a lot of the water. So see, yeah, see, it's an interesting desert world for sure. But yeah, I like it. So there you go. Good looking, good looking designer. I quite like that. What do you guys think? Let me know. So I'm, yeah, I'm pretty keen on that. Make it more of a yellowy, sort of greeny. There you go. So you got your, you got your sort of Mercury slash Titan esque looking world. It's pretty hot, tightly locked. You got your more Venusy, hellish equivalent. Then you got more of a deserty, deserty world, but it's not a full on life world. But it definitely could have some sort of life on it. Let's look at the stats. See, even the stats are saying, yep, yeah, you got life on there. That works. Okay, everyone. So we're going to finish off today's episode here as I went on filming for like an hour and a half in one take. So I don't want to make the video too long, but I can give you a little teaser of what's going to be in the next episode. So if we zoom out here, I've got an additional three fully customized planets here. So stay tuned to see those. But if you enjoyed today's video, guys, make sure you leave a like. Subscribe for more, help us in the journey to 40,000 subscribers. And yeah, stay tuned for the next episode uh, later this week. So... Yeah, let me know what you think down below in the comments. I really hope you've enjoyed this one as well. Let me know your feedback, any uh, object suggestions and things like that as well, what you want to see. Very keen to hear your thoughts. But yeah, that will send done. Let's see if we can go for a good 100 likes um, for this video as well. And like I said, subscribe to the journey to 40,000. We're getting close and close. We're within that one fat, almost within the 1,000 mark of it now. So we're getting extremely close. And I cannot thank you enough for all your support, everyone. It's absolutely amazing. But with that all said and done, everybody, make sure you have a great day. Stay safe out there. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.